Video memes have become incredibly popular over the years because videos can often be more engaging than photo memes. For this reason, videos are now being pushed more by social media platforms than photos are. Instagram, I'm looking at you. So this means that video memes likely have a higher potential reach than photo memes do in this current meta. However, video memes can be more difficult to create than photo memes because you have to find a source video then you have to download it, and it's usually a larger file. Then you have to add text, sound effects, and video effects, then export it, and then re-upload it online. But those days are over. Now you can make video memes completely online, add text, music, effects, and more, without having to identify or download any source videos by using an online library of meme templates on the video and photo editor Kapwing. So first I'll show you how to use video meme templates, and after that I will show you how to create a video meme from another source just by having the link or having the original video downloaded. Let's get into it. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. You're going to click the first link in the YouTube description and it'll take you to the cupwing.com meme templates page. So here you will find a bunch of different trending meme templates, classic memes, popular memes. We work with Reddit's top meme creators to create templates on our website every single week. So there's always new and trending templates happening. So what you wanna first do is identify the template that you want. So you can identify a video template by hovering your mouse on top of a meme. So this one is not moving, so it's not a video meme. However, this one, when I put it over it, you can see it's moving, so you can tell that it's a video. This one is a video as well, you can tell just from hovering over it. And so is this one, we try and make a lot of video memes on our website. So just go ahead and click a meme that you like. If you don't see the meme that you like up top here, you can also use the search templates uh, button over here, and you can type in different things like video and now i'll show you a bunch of different video meme templates you can also search things like breaking bad if you want a breaking bad meme and then there will be all these different breaking bad memes so yeah you can use this search tool to find the meme that you want so let's just use this owen wilson stare meme template so just go ahead and click the edit this template button if you are ready and then your meme should be pulled into the editor so often what you want to do with video meme templates is just change the text i'm going to change this to when i bring cookies in to the office. Now you can see that there's a little too much padding up here, too much space. I just don't really need it because my meme caption was a little shorter. So what you can do is go over to the right side here and look under the padding options and you can click the remove padding button on the right and now it is smaller. If you don't see these options, it's probably because you're clicking on the video or on the text block. If you just click off to the side, you'll be taken to the main menu and you can see all that. While you're here, you're also able to add text. So let's say if you want to add text throughout, then you can go over here to the text tab on the left, click into that and click the add text button if you want to start from scratch or use any of these text presets. So I'll add the word boss here when it goes to the paparazzi as though the paparazzi is my boss. Maybe I'll add one just by copying this layer and pasting this layer and I will change this to be coworker, and then I can just drag this over here. And then I don't want them to be on top of this clip of Owen Wilson, because that's me in this circumstance. So what you can do is just click the split button right here or click the S key on your keyboard and then do away with them by clicking the delete button. And now they're only there for that small clip. If you wanna change the audio, you can go ahead and click the audio tab here where you can find different music um, or different sound effects. So I go into the sound effects library and you can just click and it'll drag it into the editor and then you can edit within here. I'm not gonna use this because we tend to add the trending meme audios that are going around into the templates themselves. And when you're done, you can just go ahead and click the export project button in the top right corner and then click the size that you want it to be and click export and here it is. Okay, so that's using a template, but now I'm gonna show you guys how you can create a video from a source video that you might have, whether you have it downloaded or just have a link to a YouTube video or TikTok video or something like that. So for this one, you're just going to create a new project and start from scratch. Now, if you have a video downloaded, you can just go ahead and drag it into here. Or if you have a link to a video, you can go ahead and paste it in right here. So just go ahead and do that and get your video in. Okay, so now I have my video in there. I just used a link. So I have this Wendy Williams meme in my editor. So to start from scratch, what you can do is just click off of the video and then move over to the right and click the resize canvas button if you want to change the size. So there are all these options 
for the different platforms and the different aspect ratios. I'll use Instagram post. Now, if your video is smaller, it'll automatically blur the background, but if you wanna change the background color to just be something more simple, you can go ahead and just click one of these colors. So now it's a black background. Now, just like the other meme, I will probably add text on top of this. So you can go to the text button and add text. So I might say, when you show up to a costume party and no one is dressed up, and then I can just highlight all of this and change the size to be much smaller. So now I have this text up here and I'm just going to drag this to the end of the clip so it is on the entire portion. So once again, I don't want this bottom padding so I can just click off of the video and click remove padding. And I only want part of this meme. I think it's a little long. So what I'm gonna do is just end it here. So I will stop right there and then I can just click the split button when I'm highlighting both layers click that and then delete the excess. So now I have this new meme that is made in just a couple minutes. So now that I'm done, I can just click the export project button and once again, uh, wait for it to process and download the video with this button once it's done. But you guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope you can now make all the video memes to your heart's content. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and stay up to date with creator tips like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one.